Good day, everyone. I am Dana, known as the Angry Citizen. I'm coming to you from Brewer, Maine. Today is Saturday, the 5th of August, 2023. And I'm going to talk to you today about discernment. And discernment is the ability to discern truth from fiction, uh, friend from foe, um, liar from truthful speaker. It's important. And lately I have been given to looking at virtually all of the people that are close to me, uh, whom I regard as friends, uh, allies. Uh, I look at all of them very honestly and, and, and confront myself with, uh, is this a person I trust? Is this the person that they appear to be, that I believe them to be, or have I been duped? And I do this not because I have any expectation that I am currently being fooled. There's someone close to me that's fooling me. I'm just doing it because I like to be thorough, and careful, and I don't want to be fooled. So I carefully review all the evidence available to me about everyone around me. And if someone comes to me and says, hey, this person might not be the person you think they are, you know, you should re-examine your... Uh, conclusions, I'm wide open to hearing it. Um, and I absolutely believe that, that the truth will be revealed. If you follow the evidence and, and look at the facts and think carefully to yourself, you'll eventually arrive at the truth. And the truth is the truth, no matter how much you don't want it to be the truth. So if you, you know, have cancer or uh, if you, you know, whatever unpleasant wife is cheating on you, anything like that, no one wants to hear that, right? But you, you, want to know. I personally have gotten in trouble because a buddy of mine had his girlfriend hitting on me. And when I told him he got mad at me, married her, divorced me as his friend for like two years. That's just how it works. Um, so, but I want to know, I want to know the truth. So the latest difficulty and dilemma I face is that there are some people who are very prominent in the, in the so-called uh, medical freedom movement, uh, you know, truth speakers, uh, uh, medical professionals, whole list of these people. And, and they're all working very hard to question the narrative, question the so-called safety of the so-called, you know, jab. Um, and of course, they all get attacked. As soon as you come out, you are immediately attacked. Well, we know that there are uh, uh, controlled opposition implants. We, we know this. We know that the rich and powerful people of the world want their way and they're going to fund whatever they can to get their way. And so when they see any movement, which is a, a genuine uh, movement by we the people to try to have our way prevail, they immediately oppose us. And one of the most powerful tools they have is to send people in to pose as helping us. And they jump right on with us with the bandwagon. Yay, go us. You know, if you're a Christian, they're all about team Jesus. If you know, you're about medical freedom, they're all about medical freedom and whatever it is that you, they're like 110% behind you with you all the way. And uh, there are questions about so many of these people. And so many of these people may have done things in their life at some point that were not good things. And, you know, I have done things I'm ashamed of. And, and I would hate for people to say, I would be so ashamed if you saw these things. And, and I would be, I would want to hide my head in shame. Okay. But I regret them and I, and I strive not to do them. And I'm not a bad person just because I did those things. And so people could say, well, this, you know, I've been arrested, for example. Okay, so what if someone's put up, oh, we, oh yeah, well, this guy was arrested in such and such for such and such. And would you then go, oh, well, that's it. I can't, I can't hear anything you have to say. And that's what they want, see? So if there are people that are speaking truth, that are speaking powerful truth, whatever little tiny skeletons might be in their closet will be dug out by the dark overlords and paraded around to show us that you can't listen to that person. And in some cases, I'm seeing they're basically just a blanket, complete 100% uh dismissal of virtually every voice in the you know freedom truth medical movement from christian northrup and dr uh no, no longer dr carrie made uh brian artis rfk jr the del big tree you know it's just the list goes on and on and on they're just basically telling you every single one of them every single last one of them is controlled up don't believe anything they have to tell you so like all claims this one's either true or not okay um Maybe it is true. However, I have some experience with some of these people myself. So I have some inf information that, that is valuable to me in making my evaluation. 
And there were things about, I was reading this one particular website and I was going to show it, but I said not to do that. I'm not going to give it the energy. Okay. I'll, let's just suffice it to say that it consisted of a lot of accusations and a lot of links to other things. Like I spoke about this here and there's a link and I go, okay, I click the link and I go there and it basically repeats the same things about how they're controlled up. And it makes fun of people. It's heavy on, on, if you believe this, you're stupid. And it literally says at some point it's something to the effect that, you know, only brain dead morons would ever believe blah, blah, blah. And, and there was this phrase he kept using called baby truthers, these baby truthers, and they get butt hurt at me because I say things they don't like and blah, blah, blah. It's very nasty and insulting. So that flavor didn't help me at all. And then when I started reading it again, it, it was like a little maze. And that's when you know you're in trouble and you have to run around a little maze to find something. No, just come out, spit it out. What is it you got to say, man? And so, uh, I ended up in a situation of, of really questioning because I want to I want to know the truth, right? And no matter how much I may admire someone, if if they're not worthy of that admiration, I'm I'm gonna hear it. I will, I will open my ears, you know. And I'll give you a great example. I, I have a, a very close friend who uh, I had known have known for a long time, and uh, he and his wife are very close with me. I, I love them both dearly, and we had some great great experiences in life together. We used to visit each other from time to time. And my friend is a really good guy. I love him dearly. And I would have told you that there was absolutely no chance he would ever cheat on his wife. I was, I would have staked all my chips on that at the poker table, all in. There's no way that Fred will cheat on on his wife, and I was wrong. He did, and he got a young lady pregnant, and and I had to confront this about this person. I still love him, you know. He made a mistake. He, it's like we all make mistakes. So if someone were to say, well, okay, he's entirely untrustworthy because of this, that would be wrong. And I won't dismiss him summarily as my friend. So I look at people in the, in the freedom movement the same way. You evaluate them. And my Christian friends are always saying, you will know them by their fruit. Ohio Brett. Yeah, I know. That's true. You, you watch what they do. You hear what they say. You, you measure their character and integrity by their actions. You know, some people show up. Some people don't. Some people show their faces. Some people don't. They're hiding behind the scenes somehow, right? Like this. It's the mysterious X, Fred X. Woo! And, and I don't trust anyone that does that. And they always say, oh, it's for my safety. Yeah, well, we all know that. Okay, but some of us are right out here. We're not hiding. So when you're hiding and telling me how it's for your personal security and you're because the dark forces are going to come get you. Yeah, we know that's what they do. So but if you're hiding, you can't be taken seriously. I can't give you credibility. So just, you know, Bob Smith hiding behind the desk with the water glass in front of him doesn't doesn't impress me no matter how elo eloquent your words are. And I'm not going to dismiss anybody summarily just because they made a mistake in the past. So you show me someone got arrested and tell me I'm now not supposed to believe that. And you're going to say, well, there's other things as well. All right, well, I'll listen to those too, but you're off on a bad footing. As soon as you say that that, that person was arrested and this is your way of leading into I'm not supposed to trust them, you're off to a bad start. Because you're saying basically they made a mistake. How many people have been arrested? Okay, I know quite a few people have been arrested. Again, I've been arrested myself. Um and, you know, I won't go into the cause and everything. You speculate all you want. I don't care. Judge me as you will. I'm the man you see in front of me. And, and uh, you know, I stand on my claims. I, I deal in fact, truth, evidence, law. And, uh, you know, if I have an opinion, I have an opinion about something because I've done at least a little bit of research. And when people come on and they say, you know, check on it or, you know, he's said this thousands of times, but that. I've researched this enough to have a basic idea, basic understanding. And if you come on and you want to say that you have important information, I'll read it. I'll listen to it. But what always happens is they get, they get crabby and pissy at me. Okay. First off right away there. And they come at me with my favorite one is when they have the, some form or flavor of, you can't possibly believe that. Think how insulting that is to say to someone, there's no way you could believe that, you know, really you know really uh the truth bears scrutiny and i'll believe what the truth shows me and you don't get to pretend you're right and i'm wrong just because you expressed outrage when i express my opinion you have to actually prove me wrong i need actual facts and evidence before i will concede to you my facebook page is not an invitation to a debate i've made this very clear it is not an invitation to a debate i'm going to state what i want to state if you have a comment or whatever i'll listen to you but i'm not going to come on and defend myself and if you come on my page and you start making claims you better be ready to back them up don't just post the claim post the very specific thing the the, the statement made when it was made under what circumstance who made it and the context don't just tell me the person said this i need to know the exact context of it it's important don't pretend it's not 
and I'm no longer going to give the gift of my time because I have yet to have a rational debate except for maybe two, three occasions in my entire life that I disagree with someone about something, you know, sex, drugs, politics, war, capital punishment, climate change, shape of the earth. No, ever have I had a discussion with someone who disagreed with me where it was rational, calm, and they didn't get mad at me. And they got mad at me because I stated truth. So I would say, well, here's why I believe what I believe. And I would tell them that. And every once in a while, someone goes, well, we'll have to agree to disagree. And I will go, no, we can agree on facts. I, you can tell me your opinion, and, and I may disagree with your opinion, and then we can agree to disagree. You can tell me you think uh, Titanic was a wonderful movie. And I can tell you I, I didn't like it that much. I don't think it's that great. Well, at the end of the day, that's a judgment call. But the Titanic movie was made. It doesn't not exist. So if I said there was a movie with these famous Hollywood stars called Titanic, and it was in the theaters and made billions amount of money and you go no that never happened now we we you can't agree to disagree because <laughs> it either did or it didn't and when i show you the evidence i could like show you a clip from the movie for example and, and then logically at that point you would want to say anything along the lines of hey I, I guess you're right about that dana there it is there's a movie you know that doesn't happen boy you get all kinds of arguing and complaining and and Intellectual dishonesty is my favorite one. False dichotomy, false equivalency, straw man fallacies, ad hominem attacks, anything to just avoid saying, I guess you're right. They can't do it. So we all need to very carefully discern everyone around us and really ask ourselves hard questions about uh, what is true and what is false, because right now we're in a time of great deception and we all see it. We know that there's deception like people. I don't know anyone that thinks that the, that, that the mainstream media is reliable and they at least have a vague understanding that it's not. Most people realize that it is very carefully and, and orchestrated, scripted propaganda and lies with occasional truth to try to give it a little foundation of credibility. But uh, it's deeper than that. You know, everywhere you go, every issue I've explored, uh, I have found a, a veil of uh, contrary claims, uh, sometimes vague references. Uh, you know, it's a it's a jungle. So be discerning. I am going to be discerning, and I promise you, I will share with it whatever inf information, opinions I have. If I have an opinion, I'll tell you it's my opinion. I will not state it as fact. If I know something to be true, I will state it as if it is a fact, and then will anchor ourselves in reality and evidence because that's why we derive truth. We derive truth by looking at evidence, carefully examining it. It's this, this is how science works. This is how theories work. This is why I object to people using the term conspiracy theorist because a theory is a scientific reality. You have a theory that this is true or that's true or whatever. That's how it starts. Then you test that theory and you see if you can figure out if it's, reliably provable and repeatable. And every time we do this, this happens. And when we don't do that, that doesn't happen, whatever. And you put it all together and you come out with uh, a proof or disproof uh, of that theory. That's how it works. And to have a theory that involves your government conspiring against you doesn't make you crazy at all. It makes you very sane because our government does that all the time. The history shows this, look up Operation Northwood. And if you don't know anything about these things, I'm not interested in talking to you on my Facebook page about it. Why would I want to waste my time? And that's usually what happens. As soon as a person starts talking, I know they haven't done any research. And I've said that a couple of times. And one time, a friend of mine, I thought it was a longtime friend. All I said to him was, you haven't done any research. And he launched into a massive tirade and let me know how stupid I was and literally said to me, if you want intelligent people to take you seriously, you need to blah, 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 blah. It's like, wow, man. You know, he was really a giant dick about it. So end of the day, Examine all the evidence carefully. Do not listen when people mock, because that's the devil's first tool. The first thing demons do is mock the truth speaker, okay? Anything along the lines of, ha ha, what an idiot. Did you hear what he said? That's the craziest thing. I What kind of moron? Or put on your tinfoil hat, because they don't have facts. Logically, the fact would be the first thing to say. I once performed on stage with the Beatles. Okay, well, you know what? I'm doing a little math here, Dana, and according to your age, I don't think that's at all feasible, nor do I see any credible evidence anywhere of that except for your statement to me. So that really is very thin as a pretense. Maybe logically I would doubt your claim. That's how it works. 
So I'm going to continue to use my discernment, continue to tell the truth as I know it and back it up with whatever evidence I'm available. I have available and have found and, and hope it benefits you. Do with it what you wish. And if you have a contrary opinion, fine, God bless you. But I'm not going to debate you on my Facebook page anymore. So don't even go there. Uh, thank you all. I'll be back later. I have a couple of important interviews I'm trying to line up here and I'm feeling pretty good about it. And um, I think we've all seen a sort of angry and pissy and cranky a lot lately so hang in there because <laughs> it's going to get better it's like a roller coaster you get down to the bottom and then you know you got to get back up on the top again and and that's kind of where we are we're, we're at the bottom we got to we got to just push you know keep up the push get back to the top get back on top and and uh i think we're making progress i'm feeling like the the dark forces are more and more desperate and they're hurling stuff at us just as fast as they can just because they know that their time is running very very short and that they'll be held accountable for all their nasty little deeds like every child they have hurt so uh, let's stay together. God bless you all. Angry Citizens signing off. Have a great Saturday, everyone, and, and have a wonderful Sabbath to all those who celebrate Sabbath today.